Welcome everyone to my presentation on permanent magnet synchronous machine position sensor offset error quantification. I am Sandan Kurupu, a faculty member at Saginaw Valley State University. Uh, a PMSM in this case stands for permanent magnet synchronous machine, which is a very popular type of machine in industry, in automotive industry specifically. And uh, in controlling them, field oriented control with a position sensor is again uh, very popular because it has very high dynamic performance and you can perform torque, torque control and in controlling and analyzing uh, these types of machines we use a method called rotor reference frame transform and this field oriented control is applied through the rotor reference frame transformation which simplifies this AC machine al analysis to that of a DC machine analysis uh, and control as well. Now uh, in performing these controls uh, we do need a position sensor to have that high dynamic control and I'm showing you a uh, couple of uh, or three different types of sensors that are used and these sensors are mounted on the motor physically uh, and in mounting uh, there is some physical assembly or mechanical assembly involved uh, but with vibration and shock and uh, temperature variation uh, there could be a position offset error that gets introduced into this sensor uh, and oftentimes this could happen during uh, actual operation uh, when it's being used uh, and if such scenario occurs what will happen is there will be a significant reduction in torque now here we are here i'm showing you the torque equation uh, or the relationship of electromagnetic torque to flux and their relative alignment with theta f being the angle between the rotor and the stator flux as far as all of you know uh, for electric machines it requires two magnetic fields to generate torque and uh, between the rotor and the stator they need to be 90 degrees out of phase for optimal torque production. Now if or because of the position sensor information is used to generate the stator flux and if there's an error as shown in this figure C in the, in the vector diagram C, the torque vector, the stator torque vector may be placed at an unoptimal angle and that could result in a decrease of torque or even in a worst case scenario the torque could reverse so when you want the car to go forward if it's using this machine type and under this fault it could go in reverse so it's a big uh, problem it's a big issue and here we are uh, we are showing you some results uh, one simulation and other experimental where we experimentally injected position sensor offset error into the system and you can see that the torque is being degraded so torque is reducing in both schemes uh, and again like I mentioned this could be a significant problem uh, when you want to accelerate it stops accelerating or starts reversing if such a fault had occurred in the system okay so what we what we are proposing here is a way to detect this in real time so we went ahead and modeled this system the motor drive system in block diagram form and we reduced it uh, into this uh, simple form we still have the closed loop and we came up with the closed loop dynamic equation and using that dynamic equation we were able to identify a relationship based on voltage estimation for the faulty case uh, where the estimated voltages tend to deviate significantly from the actual measured voltages in that rotor reference frame. And with that, you are, we are able to identify that induced position sensor offset error. Okay, And here we are uh, showing some simulation results. Uh, and what's happening with uh, this uh, error when it's, when it's increasing. Uh, and here we are showing some experimental results and we can see that they are well correlating with the simulation results. Uh, as, uh, and here we are trying to show with positive and negative position sensor offset error what happens uh, in the system. And we are able to accurately quantify that, uh, detect that and if need be, compensate for that. 
Okay, so thank you.